Hey guys, Trey Llewellyn here with Commerce Kings. The next episode, I got the amazing John Benson on the call, and yeah. we're going to drill him with some amazing questions. Get who real, to, right? Who has to blow his nose. So, uh, <laughs> you, so you want to be authentic and real, right? So there that's we go. what we're here to do, man. It's, right. getting, it's getting real on the Commerce Kings. Is is you know being a being a king of commerce? It's not all its glory. <laughs> you know, the, the cars, the watches, the mansions. Uh, no, no watches. Uh, no, no. Yeah, I don't even have a car right now. So how's that? <laughs> I don't I live. Don't that's, live. How, yeah. that's where it is, man. I love it. So what are you what are you up to right now? What have you been What have you been working on? Oh God! Well, everything in my life's been centered around a couple of projects. The biggest one is Copy Pro. It's just uh, oh, we're sweet. changing the way that that copywriting and marketing is done in 2018. Which is it's we already did it with email Copy Pro, but now we've taken it to having all copy done in a machine that's it's fully syndicated copy. So people can write. Different copywriters can contribute. Um, you know, they get paid every time someone uses their copy, and it's yeah. all done through the power of blockchain. So. Really exciting stuff. That's what. That's my biggest project I'm working on right now. Um, second one is a fitness project called a uh, Four Day Diet and Five Day Keto. Those, that's what I do. Okay. So um, that's been a lot of fun, and and I love talking about that stuff because I live it. And that's you know people just they I don't know they have a hard time for whatever reason putting the marketer and, and the fitness guy in the same, but really it's the same person, right? Uh, so I'm trying to merge those two things a little bit better than I've done. And then I'm writing a relationship book called Epic Love. So those are the three biggie things, so I, my, my favorite things to write on. So what, what was the last one? The football? It's called Epic Love, a deep dive into radical intimacy. So, Oh, intimacy. All right. Oh yeah. So, yeah. It's a, it's, it's a word that scares most guys. It's written for alpha males basically to get them off the, get them away from being a pussy and get them into diving into some deep stuff. So sure. uh, it, it's basically, yeah, if you think building a business and, you know, climbing mountains and bodybuilding is hard. You should try intimacy. So I, I personally, it's my wheelhouse. So I love it, but it's a great way that it's, it's kind of an in your face book and it's fun in it. Uh, and you know, and, and the ladies like it too. So, cause they, they need that message being, being preached to guys. So uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. When does, when does copy pro go live or is it already launched? Yeah, yeah. Email copy pro is already launched. It's been out for a year and a half. Um, copy pro. Yeah, it's just email copy pro.com. But, uh, yeah, but copy pro launches a uh, copy pro.ai AI is, is now, the, the site's going to launch in September. So it's the site's up now, but the, the, the actual software, uh, yeah. we're, we're doing two cap raises the, we're in the middle of a cap raise right now, which is our seed funding, which is a 506 C. And then we do to, we're moving to a reggae plus and doing a $50 million reggae, reggae plus offer for the, um, for the ICO world. Oh, wow. That's going to be, we actually have a real model that's not built on, you know, cryptocurrency being in the ether. This is actually token exchange inside the model, inside the ecosystem that's already built. Whoa. And, yeah, it's just well, we're doing it right. We're doing it legally right, but so we're doing it as a security. So, but, man, when I so how I how I met you or how I began to know about you was about four years ago, and you did you were doing VSLs back then. You probably still do those today. Yeah. And you had the I think I watched it. I think I bought it. Actually, I did buy it. And Sorry. you were I remember this picture of you, and you're outside your house. You can't really see the house because I think it was like like the house was yeah. in a lower. Uh, land, but then like you uh, were above it, and then you had your Porsche outside. Right. Right. And I was working the insurance game. I was like, "Damn!" I was like, <laughs> "Who's this? Who's this? This uh, John Benson guy? Like he yeah. he's got it going on. I need to follow this guy." I started following you, and then up, uh, you know, I always always been following you, man. Like you're always been a mentor. It's been amazing. Thanks, and I'm not. I, I rag on the guys that do the the Ferrari pictures and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, it's really uh, the, the weird thing is I'm, I'm buddies with Ty Lopez, and Ty is actually that guy. He's actually he's just a normal dude who's a very funny guy, super intelligent, loves cars, and people rag on him all the time. Like, no, you don't understand. That's really who he is. He'd come over to my house in Malibu, pick me up in a different car all the time. And, um, but yeah, that was <laughs> that was basically doing. I think it was doing a webinar promo, and, and it just so happened to be I pulled up in my car, or my, or my I can't remember what car it was, but. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't even, I have a car that's in, that's in California, but I'm in Vancouver right now. So I don't even have a car. Here, oh, so. wow. Well, I appreciate you, appreciate you taking the call. Dude, I want to, I want to get into some pretty like real stuff because a lot of people see you as a very successful, uh, like, man, if I was John Benson, I would it, like, my life would just be, you know, amazing. And I want to kind of get into the heart of that, like where maybe there was a moment where you were just kind of extremely beat down and. <laughs> You know, I, cause I've had those and it's, it, you get to that point where is it even worth it anymore? You know, oh, what, what am I even going after? So would you mind talking about one of those? I probably look beat down right now. just cause I came, I came <laughs> from this. I, I thought we were doing a, an audio podcast. I'm coming from the gym, you know, just like I'm sweating and stuff. But, uh, so I may look at, but I'm not beat down at the moment. But 
Yeah, I mean, and like I said before we started, how deep do you want to go? Because uh, yeah, I've been deep down, deep, deep, deep down that path of darkness. And uh, the the two things that leap out at me, and I've gone through the death of my parents. I've gone through, mm. I've gone, I've gone through a massive heart attack and almost died when I was in my thirties. So, Holy smokes. you know, we're talking some significant things in my life that were very, very. Uh, how do you dark. go through a heart attack at thirty? Bad like genes, and bad, bad genes. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's well, I mean, that and my lifestyle was really, really not conducive to. To, um, to living a healthy life. And that's what changed my life. And I wrote Fit Over 40 after that. But, you know, there was no, I never did drugs or anything like that. So it wasn't anything like, like nefarious. It was just bad eating and, and terrible genetics. And my, my doctor just the other day, he goes, looks at my blood work. He goes, man, I, I, I don't envy your genetics at all. He goes, you're doing a good job with it, but you know, it's a battle. So it's, it's a battle I face all the time. Wow. But uh, so that was definitely one of the, 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 the Definitely the time, the moment where I hit my absolute limit, as you would say, was when um, was when my I lost my second wife. So when she and I split, that was the darkest moment in my life. That was it, it didn't. There's not another point of of abject misery that I can think of that I would wish to inflict. And 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 the reasons behind it were just so atrociously terrible. Uh, and and yeah, to to lose someone that you that you love with all your heart and to lose lose them for reasons that, that just defy reason and having all your friends say, Oh, you, you, you know, we got you through this and it was awesome. But yeah, I'm standing on the ledge of a fucking building, dude. I'm like, I'm like, this is it. So uh, that was the darkest moment. That's hitting rock bottom. If you're talking about business <laughs> and stuff, um, there's an, the second one would be when I launched email copy pro and six months later, instead of having, you know, 6,000 members, we had 600. I'm like, what the hell are we doing wrong? And I called Russell Brunson up. I said, dude, just straight man to man. Did you ever suffer through this? Cause we have, you know, funnel, uh, click funnels is totally different than email copy pro, but, but he, we have the same, we had the same model at the time, which is a membership driven site. They're using it every single day. Um, and he goes, yeah, dude, he goes, he almost lost his business and you know, was laid off a bunch of people. And he went through the same thing. He goes, after a year, I had 800 members. And, and so that really blew me out of it. But I was like, in, in November of last year, I'm going, man, I think I'm just going to retire. I think I've just had it, you know? So yeah. I've definitely hit the, hit the low points. And, uh, and then hey. ironically, November last year changed everything. So, yeah. so right. how, so what, so how did you, like, how did you get out of those? Yeah. Like, how well, do you, how did you turn around? The first one was, uh, I, I, I saw, I was, I'm lucky enough to have the means to see people that I need to see. So okay. I worked with Sean Stevenson. I don't know if you know Sean or not, but uh, he's a dear friend of mine and, and I worked with him. I worked with two counselors here in, in Vancouver that dealt with people who had gone through childhood trauma, which is what I was dealing with and not from me, but from her and trying to understand and be empathetic and all that. And also at the same, same time, I got in deeply into meditation. So I'd never been very good at meditation and I got into doing up to two hours a day. And it took a year and a half to heal from that. And I finally did. So <laughs> what, was, what, uh, who, who'd you learn meditation from? I learned it from two people. Actually, one is the, the, one of the therapists that I see here or saw here in Vancouver. And he taught me a meditation sequence called the wheel that I was able to immediately adapt and go, Oh, I can actually turn this into myself. It's something I can use myself. And then I got so into this, I started writing what's called dichotic audio, which I learned from, believe it or not, Frank Zane, the bodybuilder back in the 80s. Huh. And, um, and I used dichotic audio and created my own scripts. It's my own hypnotic scripts that I could listen to. And I'm hearing two voices in my head. And, and, and you know, it's, it's kind of schizophrenic, actually. But um, th so that was where I really learned the, what I needed to know. And I, there's a lot more to know. The, the, the other part, the other person I learned from is Sam Harris. Uh, the neuroscientist. He, I read and listened to Waking Up all the time, and and uh, it was nice to hear a, a fellow, you know, rationalist atheist uh, guy that isn't coming from a woo-woo perspective, talking about something as very woo as consciousness and consciousness. Yeah. Yeah, and so I, I was able to latch onto that understanding of it, and and I admire Sam so much for his for his views on a lot of things, but especially on neuroscience and on 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 the science of meditation, spirituality. So that's what really broke the door open for me in that. So. Shoot, because yeah. I we uh I've got a good friend that we brought in uh, two Buddhas and oh. taught us a little bit. We did a three day learning cycle of meditation, yeah. and it was wild. Like I felt like I slept a lot, you yeah. know. But I also like, but you also kind of start to kind of get in that rhythm where you get to be right on that edge of sleep versus conscious, or you're conscious but asleep but awake. It's it's a it's a wild thing. Like if you can, it seems like you got way more control than I ever got to. To like um, being able to read into those thoughts of kind of sub your subconscious rather. Well, it's the process of noticing that you're thinking. It, yeah. It, it's, we think on 
autopilot all the time and just yeah. slowing down to where you can start seeing. Um, I love the way Sam actually give the analogy of like when you're looking through, like I've got, I'm looking out of the ocean here, I'm looking through this glass and I can see myself as a reflection of the glass, but it's not the first thing you see. So it's kind of like that with meditation, you see all the thoughts and then you notice that, that yourself is over here, that the identity that we call the ego or the self is setting over here, but you can see it. And once you spot it, you realize, oh wait, that then it, that's really not what's going on up there. <laughs> that's really, a, it's really kind of cool. So, and once you see it really, you can actually get those results very quickly. You can dive into meditation in a matter of minutes. Once, yeah. you, know how, and once you know that you can look in that mirror and see yourself, uh, that takes a lot, that took some practice to do that. And, and it still does. But, um, but the other stuff, the wheel meditation is really practical. And I, I fell in love with it because huh. of the push pull aspect of it as a, as a bodybuilder fitness guy, I really related to going fully into something and letting go. So it's like a contract and a release, a contract and a release. And so I got, so I think that's why my therapist turned me on to it. He goes, Oh, you'll like this one. So, cause until then I freaking hated it. I thought it was all about not thinking. I thought it was all about you know, quieting the mind and, it's not. So it's about directive thought and noticing your thought intentionally. So, so what, what's keeping you, like, what's your personal motivation? Like, what's keeping you motivated to keep doing email pro or email copy pro and then the five day keto and epic love? Like, what's, what's the goal? What's like, where are you headed? Uh, there's all sorts of purposes. There's all sorts of reasons why. Um, I, I, in my framework of life, I've created my own thing through this whole process of, of, when I just talked about going through divorce. And that's the whole concept of what epic love and an epic life looks like for me. And so I intend to share that with the world next year. But, but for me, there's, a, there's three pillars at the, uh, at the foundation of all that. And the pillars are love, abundance, and relevance. So love, abundance, and relevance. Those are the three things that I think at the end of the day, if you could check off a list and say, I felt and received love, I had and gave abundance, and I feel and receive relevance uh, and give relevance. So, so relevance to me is a huge thing that people don't talk about is to feel relevant as a man is very important. And you see this in our society, especially you see this in, in, in the far left and the far right side of our society. Or the far left is all about just strip, grabbing relevance in any way that you can. It's like grabbing relevance by, so, oh, my great-great-grandfather was this, so therefore I'm, you know, you're not going to be relevant with that. That you, you need to find your own sense of relevance. The far right is the other side. It's like everybody should just instantly snap into this, right? Yeah. But uh, so those are the three things that, that keep me very motivated is the love being the key. I, I, I make no apologies for that one, man. I've, I've been a, I've been a, into love and, and relationships from some time I was a teenager writing about this stuff since <laughs> I was in my twenties. So uh, I, I love it. I, that that's, there's no high on earth that's better than that for me. Uh, so it's just, that's, that's the high. So that definitely keeps me, keeps me going. Uh, the other stuff is, is really just the, what hill can you climb? What, what thing you can conquer? Like, like with copy pro, Email copy pro was hard enough. Copy pro was like, it's like climbing Everest, man. It's like, right. and, and could we do this? Could we build a machine, a machine, you know, software that people could talk to and customers could talk to, and they all end up talking together through AI and neural net stuff. And, and, and it blends into the seamless uh, copy that, that guys like me would write, you know, like a list guys. Can yeah. I do that with people that are C list copywriters? And the question, the answer is yes. So um, where, where does that even start? Like, how do you even, how does it even like programmers and like, how do you find those people? Like how do they, in a quick minute, like how'd you, yeah. like, where does that even, I don't even know how do we start that? The, the, this is the thing that people don't, don't really want to believe. It's really me and one guy. So it's me and one okay. guy. And, and, and so that now that's, that's going to expand with copy pro because we're doing a you know, $50 million <laughs> cap raise. And so it's yeah. going to expand <laughs> and it will only expand to probably three. And, and the reason why is, is I've got one extremely talented, very good program I worked with for almost 10 years. Mm. And I came from a programming background enough to know it'd be dangerous basically, but enough to understand the logic behind it and certainly have the vision for it. So I'm more like the, the Steve jobs, if you will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Air quotes definitely over exaggerated there, uh, but uh, but that you know the vision of it and he's the the architect of it and the, the two of us together with now I've got my business partner Jason Myers and and we've got a whole team behind this yeah where we're look we're able to look at this and go hey how about this how about this so, so that's really how it's built it's it's built over time slowly and it's if you have five guys doing something you don't get five times the results you don't even get ten times the results in programming it's a you if you get two guys you can get like maybe thirty percent faster if you get three guys it's like 20% faster than that. It's a little increments, right? Mm -hmm. So, so part of our deal is uh, now, now when we get into the blockchain side of things, we have a whole blockchain team coming on. So that's a little different. But. That's nice. So yeah. while you're, while you're waiting for all this to launch, like you got Epic Love launching next, next yeah. year, you said email copy or copy pros coming up. Email copy is already launched. Yeah. What do you, what do you do for Cause you're living nice. Like yeah. beautiful home that you're in. <laughs> like I'm like, 
Yes, and you're staring at the beach, like you're living, you're living what everybody else calls the dream, right? Like right. Their, their dream is, is what you're living. So what do you, what do you currently do to make money? Like how do you afford to live in the, in those places? Well, I, you know, I'm doing this since 2004. So I built, uh, I use email. So I talk about how I use email all the time and I have an autopilot driven email marketing system that I have. Uh, now someone doesn't necessarily have to have what I'm about to say, but I have a guy who literally just takes the emails that we know work and, and we dissected the, the formulas, the, what we call them dynamic blueprints. We dissected the blueprints behind why these things work. So other people can use them in their industries. But so we know our industry, which is in this case it's fitness and, and weight loss. And so we send offers to the list almost every single day. And my list is, you know, quite, quite large. And so that allows me to live where get, get a pretty decent income every month without having to do anything. <laughs> so, but I spent years building that list and I spent years, cultivating that that image now that's cool but I want to go to getting into more of the seven figures a month kind of range in that fitness world rather than just five figures a month five figures is pretty nice when you're not working for it right but I want to go to seven so to go to seven that's why we're launching these two other these two other projects uh, my girlfriend and I are going to run this the five day keto uh, Facebook group which is going to have probably a hundred thousand members but in the end of three months and then four day diet it launches uh, that launched last year but it's relaunching with my new partners and so we're going to blow this sucker up and it's basically the, not to get into the nutrition side of it, but it's basically, I, I mean, people ask all the time, what do you eat and how do you do this? And, and I used to be obese and I um, had a heart. So obviously I'm coming from like just wickedly terrible genetics, right? Yep. <laughs> so, so how did you get on, you know, I shot for the cover of Iron Man when I was 50, when I turned 50 and, uh, you know, I'm 54 now. So how do you do that? How do you stay, have abs at 54 and how do you, and it's not, I don't take any fat burners. There's no tricks in my sleeve. It's, this is how I do it. And I've written around that stuff for years, like, you know, kind of making it really palatable for the masses. I'm going, okay, I'm just going full out, man. Five day keto is exactly what I do. I do keto five days a week. But I'm going to tell you how I do it to where I can still have my pizza and still have my ice cream and still have my abs. So, uh, and I'm building a whole community around that. It's basically in opposition to Harlan Costa Kilstein's community, which is like never cheat. <laughs> you know? It's yeah, like I, I purposely do this. You know, <laughs> are you uh, are you talking about your John Benson email list? Or are you talking about like yeah. your your keto guy or your fitness list? No, John Benson Fitness is the fitness list, and then I have my John Benson. One is yeah, one is digital publisher, and one is fitology. Two different. So, things. are you emailing your own internal offers? Or you do an external offers? Both. But okay. mo mo mostly, mostly external offers to for my what I call my rent money, and yep. yeah, it's 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 you know more than I pay in rent significantly more. But uh, but the point is, is that I, I want to have my my basic needs covered, and we have an overhead and we have a expensive overhead. You know, there's sure there's some people here, but um, but to have that and and keep that going, keep that growing. That's that's where so there's that side of it, and the other side of it is we've really just cracked the code on, on how to sell email copy pro. And man, our our webinars we've done it now four or five times, and this thing is with different people, and it still converts twenty to twenty five percent. So it's like it's the best webinar I've ever written. And finally, we got down the message that the people need to hear. And I ignored some of the advice of one of the great greats in the world, which is Jason Flatland, and he's still. <laughs> the great I think Jason's the greatest. I, I took I took ninety percent of what he said and ninety percent of his structure, uh, and then use my own copywriting skills, of course. But he's yeah. We were talking about demoing software. He goes, oh no, no, I'll never do a demo of the software. It's like he goes, yours is sort of magical looking though, because literally I press a button and the whole thing rewrites itself. And I can keep doing that, and it's like there's some magical stuff that looks like happening. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this again. So in case you're wondering, I think there's allergies in Vancouver. I don't have allergies usually, but. So I was speaking on stage. I kept sniffling, and somebody thought I was on coke. <laughs> like, <laughs> never done it. Don't know what that feels uh, like. Oh, that's awesome. I'm always, well, you know, but but yeah. yeah so so the, 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 to answer that question, there's there's um, uh, the email copy pro has been doing kick ass, man. And so we've been getting a lot of like uh, a lot of people wanting to do. Alex Mendoza just texted me to do like for example, like I want to do a webinar with you. So yeah. So what uh, was what was the big shift from going from man we all, we're only at 600 members to being able to actually pile in members. What was that? What did you have to change or how did you sell it differently? Uh, okay. First of all, perseverance. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just going to underscore that. It, it was like, you know, I just was so depressed. I wanted to just throw things through. <laughs> I mean, I was like, how can people not see how cool this is? You know, how can people confuse this with a scripting tool? It's not even close to that. How, you know, I, I don't, I was getting frustrated with me not being able to communicate clearly enough how yeah. much, how much power this thing really has for people. So, so there's persistence, just keep listening, keep doing that. Then I was like, okay, I'm going to reach out to the best people in the world. And so, so a lot of guys would have to buy the products and, and I'd say invest in the products. 
I'm friends with Jason. So I said, he just sent me his product and he said, but just do me a favor and come out and support me at the genius network event. So I did. And so, there, so there's trade off on, on all things. And Jason, and I could trade, you know, I gave him mine. So it was like an even trade and I took what he was doing. I took what Russell was doing. And I took what I was intuitively knowing I should do and put it together and kept trying until it worked. And I literally wrote this webinar the day of the webinar. I, I woke up this morning going, ah, oh, crap, I got a webinar. And I was kind of not motivated. I'm like, okay, but what about this? And we came up with a hook. My team and I came up with a hook for this one, which I really liked. I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. cool. And it's literally what it is. I'm like, oh, I just got inspired to write it. And I had this pressure. So one thing I, I advise people to do is, is I actually think, and there's studies done on this, that if you wait to the last moment and, and you cram, there's studies done that show that some people, a lot of people actually do better than when they pace themselves out. So I'm trying to pace myself out on life stuff. You know, like, you know, I want to achieve certain fitness goals. I want to achieve certain, you know, whatever, monetary goals. That I can pace out. When it comes down to my writing, I do the best writing when it's like, okay, I got three hours. And so when you set a goal for yourself, man, figure it out. Like, I'm going to give myself three hours to do this, even if you have six. You know, you set a timer, you turn it on and you stop, you know? Yeah. That's been yeah, good. A good friend of mine, Sean Lynham, always says, you know, the, the, the project will tame, take the time allotted. So whatever mm -hmm. time you give that project, that's as long as it's going to take. If you give it six yeah. hours, it's going to take six hours. You give it three, you give it three. Right. But like with Russell Brunson, he always talks about how he went to Mike Phil Sames event. And Mike Phil Sames, you guys sell click funnels. That's his story. Where, mm -hmm. hey, we're not selling click funnels anymore. We're selling all this material and you get click funnels for, for free. free. <laughs> exactly. You know, and, then you, and then every six months it renews. You're so right. that was like his big yep. lever, right? So mm -hmm. what... So right what there. was yours? Like, what was your, I'm trying to figure out what your lever was. I tried that approach and it bombed. <laughs> and I, I tried the same exact approach. I even had Russell, so I said, I go, Russell, would you give me your template, the, your, your, your page template that you're using? And he has a product that's not, it's not truly competitive. It's, you know, funnel scripts. It's, it's like a tricycle to a Ferrari, yeah, yeah, yeah. unless it's close, you know, and, 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 and it's got the same, well, it doesn't do the things that this does, but it has, oh, well, here's some scripts you can plug in. Yeah. Yeah. And he was kind enough to say, yeah, go ahead and use it. So people said, dude, you ripped off Russell. I go, no, I did it by permission. I, I asked, right? Um, and it still didn't work. So I'm like, crap, man. So we created a whole, I shot the whole video series for it. We called it the Epic Email System. And we said, hey, get the system. And But you, then you get the software that goes with it. And the first time we did it, it did 22% conversion. I go, that was it, dude. We finally cracked the nut, right? The second time we did it, it did five. Wow. So the third time we did it, we did five. I'm like, oh, you've got to be. I mean, I'd same exact, you know. So... It's the first time we've done it finally. And, and so it takes some inspiration from this. I'm a professional copywriter and it took me this long, a year and a half to figure out how to sell my own damn product. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I've gotten lucky on some other things. I've written some letters like in so, six hours. So what you're days. saying is it just came down to your hook? Yeah. It came down to the hook and, and, and the fact that I chose to ignore the, the wisest guy in videos so in, in webinars is Jason, I think, but I ignored his advice. Well, he also said he caveated it saying, well, with yours, maybe. And so I figured out a way to do the demo to where it looked like I was doing a demo of it live without having to go into live software. I actually, but I made the, made sure that I did this ethically. I recorded it live without any sort of screen cuts or anything yeah. Look like it was doing something it wasn't. Right. And I'm literally talking over this as the video is playing, sure. so we don't have audio issues. And that 10 minute freaking demo is that and the hook, or is just the monumental difference. In, so you, in so you're saying that in the webinar, just doing a little demo of the of the magic yeah. killed killed the webinar. With that and in the hook, the hook dynamic blueprint hook, you know, which is that's what this is. I mean, emails are all sales letters and, and emails can be broken down in, in, in systematized into blueprints. Doing that is something I've mastered over the years, and there's very few guys that can do it as well, to be just blunt, right? There's a lot of guys that write as well, I think, but uh, I mean, there's people who argue that oh, I'm in the top five or whatever. I don't care. Uh, I, I'm very good at, at dissecting, oh, here's what's going on. This is a this is a push pull interrupt. This is this, this is that. That's how Accelerator came about. It's like 200 steps to that sucker, you know, just. just yeah. boom, boom. Well, yeah. we did the same thing with just literally hundreds of emails and just figured out the best blueprints for these emails. And that was a lot harder. Oh, so you, so you the hook was like, also you get a blueprint or something. I don't, you, every email that we have inside email copy pro is generated from what we call dynamic blueprints. So there's blocks of code that we know that, okay, here's this, the reason this email worked for Agora and the reason this email worked for Jason, the email for Ryan Dice, the email for Frank, we've got all these emails by permission. Like people would just give us their, Todd Brown said, here's my entire funnel sequence, bro. I love you. You made me millions of dollars here. Yeah. Agora said the same thing. Hey, here's, here's our, whatever you want from us, we'll send it to you. Yeah. So having that pool, I'm one of the few guys that can have that pool. Sure. So I got that pool, dissected their stuff, put it into blueprints and put it into to dynamic stuff to where now if you sell cat food and I sell weight loss, <laughs> 
and he sells internet marketing, it all comes out sounding like it's written for that person. Yeah. And each one of us, it sounds different. So it's, it's not the same words. It's, sure. it's like, so it literally knows what words to pull in. So what buzzwords? That's amazing. So the, so that, so the hook and then the demo and then like, oh. that's, that's what, why didn't you do that from the beginning? <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. The very first, the very first webinar I did, I said, I'm just going to demo this sucker. And, and, you know, and we sold it to our list and it did great. Okay. But then we tried different price points and, and yeah, the, and then we took away the monthly, our, we, we looked at what our monthly retention was. It used to be three ninety seven a month and we tried one ninety seven a month and that was too cheap. And then and we, all the stuff that we had to go through. So now it's just nine ninety seven, and, and just it's just a simple nine ninety seven, and that was that was the magical price point. And it, honestly, as like I thought this was going to be a monthly model because I mean, face it, you use email every every day, or you should. Yeah, well, yeah, we do. We send two emails a day. Yeah, yeah. So who wouldn't be using this every day? But but yeah, the the recurring model was just a lot harder to sell. So in the future, we might go to a version of that. And Copy Pro, by the way, is a semi recurring model. It's but based on tokens. Or okay. credits, rather, excuse me, like, like iStock Photo. Think of it as iStock Photo for copy. That's you big. You can go in and find any copy that you want that's already there, and you can preview it, and then you can even add your own flavor to it, and you can get it instantly. So <laughs> it's like, why pay a copywriter when you can just do it like that? You know, and so that, and, yeah. Yeah, and we train them on how to write inside these blueprints. So. Man, that's amazing. We're, I'm going to go, like, I know this wasn't to sell your copy pro. Up, I'm go, we didn't go get copy pro, email yeah. copy pro. <laughs> I'm like, this yeah, Email amazing. copy pro is, 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 a, is the great first step. And for all of our email copy pro clients, we're going to give them credits to get into the copy pro platform when it comes out in September. All but, we're missing is a demo right now, and we got ourselves a webinar. Dude, it would freak you the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously, it freaks me out. To see, I get emails in my e inbox. I'm reading them. I go, oh, that's a pretty good email. I'm reading. Oh, that's really. Oh, oh, oh crap! That came out of that came out of copy. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, now I see, I see. I wrote that part, so I couldn't see the other parts because other people wrote them. You oh, know? that's amazing. So you can that's exactly, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty legit. Well, we got a little bit left. Where where you where do you? I, I say this word park, but like where where would you say if someone came up to you like um, it was like John, I got a hundred grand. Where do you, where do you park your cash? And when I say park, like, are you putting in real estate? Do you put investments? Do you put on four one? You're like in a safe in the backyard. Dude, like, where, where would you say that is the best place to put money? I am a financial idiot. I, I can just tell you this right now. My dad, who was a genius at this stuff, he goes, boy, you know how to make money, but you don't know what to do with it. You know, so what you do with what you make. And he kind of tried to drill that in my head and it never quite got there. But so I, I started a long time ago, I started a very conservative investment in, in insurance bonds and stuff like that. And it gets 6% interest every year and it just grows. And, and I put the rest of my money into my own stuff. And, yeah, and that's the, really a couple of changes to that. I mean, that, that are, that are going to change. I mean, I think ripple is going to be an interesting play in, in the crypto market, but uh, so I might do some stuff like that, but, but there's no greater return on my own money that, that I can get by putting it into our, my own business right now. Yeah. And when the, the next step for that is, is my, 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 they're like my family here, my best friends, they do commercial real estate and I would easily invest with them because they're just great at it. And so, yeah, that's, that would be the only other thing I would probably do. That's so, what so they say, you know, real estate's where you get rich. Or, or, or whatnot. Yeah, or, not, they say that, but, or, or you can sell a company for 500 million, which is what we're going to do. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. Like, uh, what's the Dollar Shave Club? You know, once, you well, especially if it's a SaaS company, holy yeah. smokes, like getting a 10X on those. Yeah. Like I just, I just talked to a guy. He was, he built up a little continuity thing. Yeah. And I was like, well, how many members you had? And he had 5,000 at 20 bucks a month. Yeah. And so, you know, $100,000 is doing, oh, I see. It was doing 100 grand a year, I think is what it came out to be. And he sold the business for a million. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a 10 X business. Sold That's business it. for a million. I was like, well, all right, there you go. And he just wanted to deplete his partnership. Some guy came in, a big corporate company came in, just swiped it up and said, yeah, we'll take it for a mil. Yep. And, and, the, and away it went. So it's yeah. out there. It's out there. It I want to get, I want to get real nitty gritty before we go behind the scenes, which Let's is what would you say your, your, your biggest challenge is right now? Like what keeps, what keeps you up at night? Nothing keeps me up at night. I've always slept really well. Uh, I've had bouts of insomnia, uh, but uh, yeah, it, metaphorically speaking, what keeps me up at night? Uh, it, it, two things. Number one is on, on a personal front, um, my girl and I, my girl and I are trying to figure out how we can be together. <laughs> and we're like, man, we, we love each other, and it's like there's all this stuff in the way that it's not us. It's like it's like, and, and it's so cool to be in a situation where you just love and adore someone so much, and you want. Oh my gosh. And, and, and there's just leg, legit stuff that as a guy that writes about love would stay. Yeah. And I'm still, I'm still, I got the look, we can, we can figure this out. And, and just this last weekend we, we thought, okay, this is just, we're just going to have to cry and say goodbye to each other. And then at the end of the weekend, we're like, Oh, never even thought of that. 
let's 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 dance in that space for a little bit. So that's a I want to say a challenge. It's definitely a challenge to, to do that right now for a personal level. Um, although it's a it's a sweet challenge. It's not like yeah. it's not something that keeps me open. The, the other one is to, I've got a tiger by the tail with Copy Pro for sure, and getting that to where I want it to be and to where the world we have a million people, a million businesses on, on here, and we have over 2,000 um, we call contributors, copywriters, content authors, and editors, all on the, on this platform, all in an ecosystem. That is a monster project, man. And, and going from a solopreneur, even though I've got you know employees, but really I'm a solopreneur. Look at me. I'm in a t-shirt, right? Going to that and then going to a company where we're going to locate in either Austin or Vegas. You know, it, it's a completely different deal. So that's two major things that are going on. And always with my health. I always have issues with it. I have to deal with one thing after another. So, so dealing with that and keeping my my health solid. You know, those are the big challenges. So. You, uh, by the way, when I say my health solid, I've reversed heart disease. It's not many people can, can claim that, but I've got the pictures to prove it. Um, so that was not easy, but but uh, there was a lot of other genetic issues that came with that. So I have to deal with those. You, you bring up a good a good point. I've never, I've never really talked about it, uh, but the tiger by the tail feel mm -hmm. is you've had successes through other companies or through other uh, launches and, and events. Mm -hmm. And looking at like your email copy stuff coming out, uh, mm -hmm. You said you got a tiger by the tail, so which means you feel this like you have that feeling inside, and, and it's hard to explain to everybody else watching if you've never experienced it. But you, it's hard to, re it's really hard to describe. Well, I guess what I'm really getting at is you know it's going to become successful. It's just oh. not successful yet, but you can you see it because you've been through it before, and you're getting the same feelings you did prior to when that one became successful. Yeah, copy sense? pro and email copy pro. Just to make a distinction, email copy pro is already proven to be successful. Yes, right. Copy pro is literally on the it's 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 in its infancy state. We just started a five hundred six C cap raise. Literally, we just started it last week. So, um, but the difference between that and and what the tiger is the copy pro side of it is, I've I've had the vision for stuff like this, and when I have it, this solid. And then when we, I got Jason Myers as my business partner on this, he owns Gorilla Marketing and a lot of other companies, and he oh, saw wow. it. He goes, I'm in. Yeah, and so. And he's also built companies and sold them. And so having him on the team and having him as my partner and, and having this, yeah, it's, there's no way you can't see this going, but to get it from where it is now to, to where it needs to go, it's just a challenge, man. It's a, it's a challenge. And I, if anyone's out there is relating to like, how do I get from point A to point B? We all go through it in different ways. I mean, this is a swing for the fences thing for me. This is like, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit, and it's, a, it's a great undertaking. So saying that when you were, you said 53, right? I was, uh, what, what was the question? So I'll tell you. You're, that's your age now? You're 53? 54. 50, okay, 54. Yeah. yeah. So when you were 30, when you were 34. Yeah. Right? So I'm 33. So you're talking to me, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah talking to you. Uh, yeah. What, what, would you, what would you say to yourself at 30, knowing what, everything you know now, looking back to yourself 30, at 34, what do you think, like what, what were you doing at 34? Do you remember? Yeah, I was a graphic designer. I owned my own graphic design firm and I was racing for Porsche and I was, uh, I was living the life that I thought at the time a lot of guys would want to live. I was, I was, I was always with beautiful women and you know, it's like, <laughs> it's like same thing I'm doing now on that side. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I would say a, a couple of things. First of all, you're not immoral. Um, you know, you're not what? Say that again. You're not immortal. You, you know, you oh, know, immortal. When I was 34, I had the feeling I was immortal. Um, Second of all, I would say the most, the most juice and joy that you're going to get out of your life. And I've always known this, but I haven't, I, and when I was in my thirties, I didn't quite put it into action is to master the language of love when it comes down to communicating your heart and intentions to a woman in my case, cause I'm heterosexual, but, it, but you know, whatever, whatever you are <laughs> to a man, to a woman, to whatever, um, learning how to do that is, is, you know, there's a book called Five Love Languages most people have read, but there's there's a level ben below beneath that that's underneath the surface of that that's I think deeper, and that's been the level of the exploration in this book, Epic Love, that I've been writing, and I see it in couples. I see it in my mom and dad, which is great. I saw that, saw it in my mom and dad. They're past now, but 54 years of this stuff, so I had a really good front row seat to this, and and to understand that that, that to tell myself. The, the object back then was to, you know, to, I want to find the woman I want to you know spend my life with. And now it's, I, I want to be with a woman that is, that I can give and receive love to that will help me grow however long that is. So that could be a week, a year, 10 years, a hundred years. It, it doesn't matter. And having that, having that feeling like, well, of course you want it to last, but knowing that that relationships for me now are models of growth where I'm pouring everything I can in the, vice versa. If that ever gets to the point where we, 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 we can't grow any further, 
then it's then that relationship is completely served its purpose and it's and it should be honored and separated with love and compassion and all that stuff to, to explain that to myself at 34 might have been difficult <laughs> but that's what i what i would do um, I definitely do that. And then I would also say, Oh, by the way, John, when you release fit over 40, stay with it. <laughs> like, Cause if I just would have stayed with that, I'd be worth probably 10 times what I'm worth now. Uh, but I, I got bored. I get very restless. It's like, okay, fit over 40 as well. Then I went on to every other day diet. Then I went on to video sales. Other so I was like, you know, just stay with one thing could have been better. But, stay uh, with one but thing. Yeah. complete, complete the bridge. Yeah, Man, yeah. this has been, this has been fantastic. Thanks yeah. for, thanks for being real and authentic and, you know, Always. taking a deep dive and, Getting uh, how do they how how do they find you versus just going to like searching John Benson? Like, what's the best place to kind of watch you and kind of? Yeah, it, so copypro.ai for sure because uh, okay. this, is, this is literally you know, artificial intelligence. So it's like we say AI and people go, oh yeah, I go no no no, we're 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 tying in that IBM Watson. <laughs> so it's like it's I mean it's, Watson, it's freaking epic, man. So that will show you what's going on. What's and then email copy pro is out right now, and that's second generation AI, meaning that it's it, it's 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 derivative AI, meaning it's taking it's learning from human beings, but it's also learning from other examples inside the computer. It's badass for if you need it for, for email. Uh, John Bitson.com, J O N B E N S O N.com. Uh, there you go. Know. See, see up there. Hopefully, you should put that. You should put that picture back up there. I think you're in a black shirt. Like that's crazy how vivid the memory is. But I think you're in a black shirt. You're like you're you're obviously very muscular. You got the yeah. Porsche in the back. Like it's everybody's like picture of what I they want to become. Don't it's know like, the picture that you're sure that you're talking about, but uh, you know which one? I don't. I don't. Oh, I, you don't? Which one? Because you said the Porsche, and I I wasn't doing internet marketing in the Porsche. Maybe you're talking about the Karma. So it's well, the, okay. For a guy who doesn't know cars very well, it was yeah, it was a probably. nice looking car. Maybe it was yeah. a Ferrari. I don't know. Probably the Karma. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. That's that's I I know I know what you're talking about. That was the that was the video series that launched Accelerator. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, let's go. We're going to go behind the scenes. I want to ask you three more questions real quick before we let you go oh, man, and uh, take a little bit get a bit, get a little deeper into uh, John's life. All right. Cool. We'll be right back. <laughs> 